Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at the problem move zeros from LeetCode, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below this video because that helps me create this content for you guys. Awesome, so let's get started. Okay, so this question is basically asking you to move all the zeros um, given in an array to the end of the array. And in doing that, what we need to do is we need to maintain the order of our um, numbers that are given to us in the array. So for example, if we have this input right here, um, we need to return this output where the numbers that are uh, between the zeros still follow the same order. So like the one is here, um, the three is after it, and then the 12 is after it, and all the zeros are moved to the end. So in a nutshell, that's what the question is asking. So normally if I see a question like this, what I would do is Okay, so if I just need to get rid of the zeros, I would just create um, another array and then just loop over this array. So just a normal for loop. And if the num is not equal to zero, then I would just push it into the new array and get this result. However, um, the question asks you to do this in place. So what that means is I cannot create a separate um, array and allocate space to push these um, items into that new array. So this is why this question is a little bit more tricky than um, having uh, extra space and then solving this problem in O of n space solution. However, we're going to try and solve it in O of 1 space. So if you see here, the question is asking, you must do this in place without making a copy of the array. So since I can't create a separate structure, I need to find a way to swap values within um, the same array in place. And what I need to do, the ideas I need to have to strategize the solution is I need to have a way to uh, hold on to the zero if I encounter a zero and then swap it with a number. So just move that number forward. So that's the uh, big idea which, like about this problem, how to approach this type of solution. So if there's an in place, um, restriction or constraint in the requirement, um, what you need to think of is, okay, how can I move items within the array to move something forward and then push something to the back? So let's go through the full example of this and then it will become very clear to you um, how to use two pointers to solve this problem. If we have a pointer i in a normal for loop, so we can initialize this to, this is just going to go its own way through this list. And this is going to start at zero and then go to the end of the list. And what we need to do now is keep track of where the zeros are. And to do this, we need a second pointer and we can initialize this at, uh, pre we can call this previous, previous index, let's say. And we will also initialize this at zero. So if I walk step by step, through this algorithm, what's going to happen is first, i and previous both start at the same point. So they're both here. So this is i and this is previous, right? So they both start. Now i is in the for loop, so it moves forward. And now i is here at this item. So this is where i is and previous is still at zero. So what we can do is tell the algorithm to move forward every time it sees a uh, number. So if it encounters a number that's not zero, what we want it to do is to swap it with the previous index. And you can see that the previous index is still here. So this is the previous and this is i, right? So if, so our condition can be that if nums i is not equal to zero, right, then you can swap that number with the previous number. And we want to keep the previous at a zero. So we're not going to increment the previous in the normal for loop. So this is the condition we need to keep in mind. So let me walk through the whole algorithm so it's step by step very clear. So okay, so we encounter this previous and what we're going to do now is swap. So this is when we want to do the swap. So here you want to do the swap. Okay. So when we swapped, it looks like this, right? And then we want to increment previous. So we will increment previous and previous is now here, 
Okay, so this is the P previous, and I is moved on to its next iteration. So now I is here, right? So now previous and I are both at zero. And the condition for this is if num is not equal to zero, then do the swap with the previous, which is a zero. So in this case, what will happen is, well, I is at a zero. So this condition will not be met. So I will just keep moving, right? So in the next iteration, I is here, three. Now three is not equal to a zero. And do you see how previous is still here? So previous is still at the zero. So the reason for the second index is just to identify where the zero is from the left hand side of the array and just swap it with that because if you keep doing that you will automatically push all the zeros to the end so okay so we have that zero here and this is where previous is currently and i is now here so what do we need to do we need to swap and increment the previous so this is going to go here and this is going to go here right so now we have swapped and we have incremented previous so this is where previous is and this is where um so we have swapped this i over so okay i moves on now to the next so i is here and again we are at this case where the num number at the i index is not equal to zero it's 12. and what we need to do again we need to swap and move the previous uh forward Right, so we need to do a swap here. So we did the swap, right? And then move the previous forward. So the previous is going to end at this index and then the i, um, it, it will just finish the loop in its normal for loop. So I hope this helped you understand the bigger picture of what we wanna do. So basically the idea of the previous index is to hold on to a zero, the, the zero from the left-hand side and just keep swapping it with the items as i moves forward if that number is a non-zero number okay so with this idea in mind let's go ahead and look at the implementation so i'm back in the code and what i've done here is i've initialized a previous index so again this is the index that's going to hold on to uh, the leftmost um, zero item in the array and I've just written out the outline of a for loop here so we can iterate through this array. And now what I'm going to do is implement our solution that we talked about. So if the number um, that we're at is not equal to zero, then we want to swap it with that previous index that is holding a uh, zero. So we're just going to do the swap. So let me go ahead and write that. So if nums i is not equal to zero, then we are going to do the swap. And this is just a normal swap. I talk about this in my uh, video reverse string as well, which I will link up here if you want to see more in details how uh, some other problems use this. So um, I will say let hold equals, um, and we're going to hold on to the previous index, which is currently a zero value. So we'll say let hold equals nums, at that previous index and then we are going to say now take that wherever that zero is and replace it with the number we're currently at that's a non-zero number num is equal to nums i and then what we're going to do is just replace that nums i wherever that nums i is we'll just put the zero back there so this is how we're moving things moving the zeros to the end equals hold okay and we are also going to move our previous index forward you can call this something else like left or slow pointer or j however you want to describe it but i just thought that this was a good naming for this variable um, okay, so we're going to move that index forward and we don't need to return anything because this is in place. So this should be good. I'm going to go ahead and run. Okay, accept it and submit. Yay, awesome success.